What's up guys? So today I'm hosing Axel off because I just got off him. Is this really zoomed in? Yeah, that's better. I just got off Axel and I wanted to talk to you guys about kind of something I've been struggling with on this channel, how to make it kind of what I envision. I want educational stuff, but I also want it to be fun to watch and like have beautiful artsy things like me hosing Axeloff. Quick break for that. What do you guys think of the hosing off scene? The air conditioner is kind of noisy. All right, so the walker's back here. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this, but I'm gonna put a few of the horses on the walker and then take another one out to the arena for a walk. This is the walker. Put him in here. And this is, this is my horse, Finn. Little tip here, whenever you turn a horse around in turnout, you wanna make sure that their butt is facing away from you and you're facing the gate when you turn them loose. Because what you don't want, you want them staying with you mentally. You don't want them leaving and if if they turn around and kick, you don't want to get kicked there. I know someone who's gotten really hurt doing that, so always turning them around that they face you when you turn, let them go. Okay, so already we have two things. We have a sequence in this video which is fun to watch, the hosing the horse off, and then we have a little educational thing, me putting the horse on the walker, turning it around. Now, that's, that's what I want on this channel. I want educational content and I want things that are fun to watch. It's, it's fun for me to make things that are artistic and beautiful. Um, what I struggle with is like mixing those two and it's kind of challenging and I've thought a lot about this. so. I'm trying to figure out the best direction to go with that. But see, like this filmmaking, this YouTube to me isn't all that different than what learning to ride is like. I find people that I'm inspired by. Are they being rotten? and then find people I'm inspired by and then mimic them. So like here on YouTube, I, I don't know if you guys can hear me over that air conditioner. I try to mimic a few people, like the content I like to watch, like Casey Neistat, for example. He's a vlogger. If you haven't checked him out, you should check him out. Let me set this down. Let me set this down right here. There it is. It's not gonna stay. We gotta put the tripod out. And then come back here so they can see you. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so content, like the other piece of content I really like is like the master classes and when people are mic'd up talking through riding a horse. Like there's a few of Carl Hester and Stefan and um, those things to me, amazing riders mic'd up talking through the feeling. I shot some of that today, but maybe I'll wait till the end to put that in.
que sente, hein? Trying to get this down. Come over here so they can see you right here. Yeah. Hello. I oh, saying to you, you're all you're all sweaty from me not grooming you properly after I rode you. He's a good boy, this one. Here's the part where I'm struggling. Like, how do I mix the content that's kind of uncut, just horsemanship? Like that really good, meaty horsemanship. How do I mix that with the super entertaining, like, conversational stuff like this? I feel like this is really good content and it feels like I can get even a cut deeper, a cut more intimate, right? I can talk to you guys about my struggles with horsemanship in a way that I can't necessarily talk to you just mic'd up on a horse. And he's always like skeptical. He's skeptical of things like the camera. Are you skeptical? This is B. He's a three year old. He doesn't go on the walker yet, so I just hand walk him. Take him out here toward the, toward the dressage arena. See? Like as much as I'm struggling with kind of finding my way on YouTube and producing really, really good content, I'm like, I, I'm exactly where I wanna be. Cause I'm working and struggling and learning and training and that's where I wanna be with dressage and that's when I, where I wanna be with filmmaking too and YouTube. So it's, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with finding my way and looking at people who inspire me like Casey Neistat here on YouTube. He's not a horse person. Um, and then the people in the dressage world, the people in the natural horsemanship world, and then mixing those two and finding a balance in between all of that that's, that's mine and I can call kind of my own style, my own personality. forward to putting this one on some of the videos because I'm just starting him under saddle. He hasn't been ridden yet, but soon. Um, and he's a super kind horse and there's a story behind it because I actually rode his mom and um, he's half Andalusian, half warm blood. Yeah, I'm excited to put some of that stuff on the, on the channel and we'll see where it goes from there. All right, guys. Before you go, I'll, I'll give you like a little teaser of the video I shot on Designer um, earlier today, but I think I might put that in another video. Make two videos today. One of Designer and this one. Maybe I'll try that. Come. A little active there. See, I need that push from the hind leg. Then he thinks canner. So he's trying in the right direction because he's saying, how am I going to lift my back up? This is it, good boy, but active. So I add a little energy. That's right, that's better. Keep that activity up. Go ahead and give the reins a moment here in self carriage and active. Good, now I need to work on my mediums. So those weren't very good in the test. Little forward short moment. Good, and back. 
and active on the way back. Yeah, and half fault. And on the hind leg. Come. A little yielding to the left leg. Here, good boy. Come. That's right, good boy. <laughs> 